peeps, it's Jess the Dessert Geek, and today for our taste test, because it is a doozy, we are off to Shug Soda Fountain in Pike Place Market to try every last Sunday they sell, and Colleen said there's probably going to be a float. And as always, before we get into the nitty gritty details, I gotta ask you to hit those like and subscribe buttons for all the dessert action that is coming your way. There's Taiyaki at stake, people. Taiyaki. You wanna know about it? You're gonna need to click subscribe to find out more. And with that, I have got a date with a float. Okay, hi, I'm recording, and I've got a big scoop of ice cream. I'm gonna just. Okay, giant scoop. Giant scoop here, which I just you know, <laughs> embellished a little bit. You want to secure that straight on the side of the ramp. Okay, it's better to have it wanting to fall towards the inside than towards the outside. So, my suggestion is to kind of flop it over. So flop, yep, and then push down. Bravo, bravo, perfect. Yes. <laughs> and Paige is just recording it. Voila. This basically tastes like orangina without as much pulp. It's really refreshing and lightly fizzy and really good orangey flavor without being tang. Cheers. Cheers. Talk to us about. So we make all of our uh, syrups from fresh ingredients here. We squeeze the orange juice. We use really nice fresh vanilla beans. We also use you know two different Central American chocolates for our chocolate sauce. Um, and then you know we just pair it with the soda water. Sometimes we add a little bit of phosphate to enhance whatever flavor we've decided to to feature. So this just kind of pops whatever flavor you've chosen uh, a little bit in your mouth. It adds a little bit more effervescence. What do you recommend for first timers? What do you know? Um, I think the creamsicle, the shooksicle, we call it here, is uh, a win. I also think anything with our vanilla soda is delicious, especially paired with blueberry ice cream. Another option is our pineapple soda with coconut ice cream. So what I'm hearing is, is if you have a flavor you like, it likely exists in the menu and just roll with it. That's right. And with that, I have two assistants to help me. We're gonna eat the sundaes. Woohoo! So, yes, while we're waiting for the sundaes to start, I should introduce you to the people who actually make the eating possible because I have no stomach. So today we have the amazing Janae, who is the mobile monger on Instagram. I'll put everyone's stuff below. And then we also have Paige. Yeah, I mean, if you've watched my videos, you know who Paige is. She's Seattle on the run. She's amazing. They're both amazing. And they're gonna have the really challenging job of eating everything while I talk. Round one, which is mysteriously gone with Paige to get a photo with the horse, is the Kitty Canut. Cinnamon ice cream, apple combo, graham cracker crumble, whipped cream, and a cherry going for classic and cinnamon and hot apple pie flavors all in one sundae. So this guy is falling over and it's amazing. Don't you wish you could have some? You should get some. You should come to Seattle and have some this Sunday. Let's go for the grand bite and try everything. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. Cheers. This takes me back, really, just to apple pie. The only thing I could see making this more awesome for me personally would be pie crust, but that's a tough one to put in a sundae because pie crust in sundae does not always do super well on the texture. But yeah, you've got cinnamon, you've got apples, you've got the warmth and the texture from the graham crackers, and if you don't want an intensely cinnamon ice cream, it's a really good balance, and honestly, I'd love to take a side of the apples to go. Now, I'm gonna pass this ice cream off because I need to do other things besides eat this right now, and we're going to round two. Hardest job in the world right here. Helene's already working on round two. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Hey, here. Uh, three scoops of vanilla ice cream. Chocolate sauce. It's a classic. When you come here, you get to choose one extra topping of your choice. Jess? <laughs> I will follow your 
recommendation on this one. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is get the granola. How's the granola? It's delicious and underutilized. <laughs> which I'm always out for granola and stuff. It's really a combination of that crunchy sweetness. Let's try it. Cheers, peeps. I feel like if you're the kind of person who needs to justify to themselves they eat something vaguely healthy today but still wants a ton of ice cream, <laughs> this is what you need to get. Because, there, yeah, there's sesame, there's flax, there's oats, and there's coconut. You can claim, and also remember, chocolate is an antioxidant, so in theory, <laughs> and milk has protein, don't forget that, yes, in theory, in theory, in very, very vague theory, you have eaten a healthy breakfast. Maybe you should share this though. But seriously, this is actually really hefty. I could lift weights with this, so I would say be a teenager or share it. We decided to be extra fancy, and we're adding the nibs from Indie Chocolate to this hot fudge monstrosity. I'm just curious to see how this turns out. If you're getting the granola, add the nibs. That is such a better flavor contrast, because you get the sweet and the crunchy, and a slightly bit of savor from the nibs, and that is totally the way to go, and it'll give you way more depth of flavor than you thought a freaking hot fudge sundae could ever have. Next one, pro tip, water. Makes Sunday eating a lot easier. Get the photo. I know it's my camera on the way too much. Yeah. All right, so this is the s'mores, which is actually my personal favorite. I get it way too often, mainly because I appreciate any excuse for marshmallows to be on fire. You've got fresh. House-made marshmallows, graham crackers, hot fudge, and vanilla ice cream, and again, all that lovely burnination in one Sunday for you. Like, seriously, there basically becomes marshmallow fluff by the time you're halfway through the marshmallows. It's a wonderful thing. Oh, yep. <laughs> and I've got like ice cream going to the side. There we go. Cheers. It's smoky, it's fluffy, it's vanilla, it's chocolate. It is all the lovely things you want in a s'more, only cold. And I get it way too often. So I don't have anything like useful new to add because I just, I'm gonna tell you if, you, if you talk to me, you want me to tell you something to get? This one. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're getting into it. <laughs> Colleen's getting into it. This is a Mighty O Donut. I don't tell our guests that it's vegan because they love it. And if you tell them it's vegan, then they will like it. But these are vegan donuts. Typically we have two different varieties. Either a cake, plain cake donut, or a chocolate, chocolate donut, which is also vegan. Do so you like salted caramel? Yeah. style sundaes for your eating pleasure. I want to try the cherry first. Really classic and there's a darkness to the flavor which is a more refined maraschino cherry. First bite. This is not a complete bite because we still don't have that donut in there. Let you guys in on a secret, this is actually the first Sunday I had at Shug's way back in the day when they opened and I got it with chocolate because I'm really obvious to guess what Sundays I'm going to get. Cheers. Nothing I'm going to say here will shock you. It's a hot fudge Sunday with a donut. Is that a bad thing? No. Are we fighting the classics? No. Are classics a bad thing? Very much no. So if you want something that's like got a little bit of a twist because you're going to eventually have a hot fudge soaked donut 
people. Remember that. This is a good call, but again, this, this guy, I'm amazed I can hold it. Next. And Colleen is reminding me that remember, pretty much everything here is customizable to some degree. So if you're not thinking you need to have vanilla ice cream on everything, you're gonna be okay. Oh dang. Peeps. Peeps. Meet the Norma Jean. Now, my thing about this is that this particular guy has blondies and they are from Lowrider, who is a local cookie maker and her stuff is delicious. And then we've got caramel sauce and a little bit of rosemary with an extra bit of refinedness that you need in your ice cream sundae the size of your head. This is the one particular sundae that I'm getting a modification from because this guy normally comes with an optional bourbon mist that because I don't drink alcohol, I chose to skip. But it's a really good combination of caramel and vanilla and brown butter because there's blondies in there which brown butter and molasses are a beautiful thing. But you know, I will say deceptively there is a nut warning for this because there's nuts in the sundae. But tasty stuff. Let's do this. Eat carefully. It's salty, it's sweet, it's creamy. It's got a salty brown butter note from the blondie and a little bit of crunch, but not a, it's not a hard crunch, it's a soft bit of texture. I will say for those of you who are not complete salt beans, it might be a bit salty on the blondie for you. But that just means you should get a bit more ice cream with your blondie bite. Darn. We are at the end of our dessert journey, and we are going with the Dixie Split, which is their interpretation of a banana split. We're talking relayed bananas, we are talking pecans, we are talking caramel sauce, we're talking way too much ice cream for one person. Which by the way, shout out to my peeps over there who are eating all the ice cream for me. I've not actually eaten that much yet, I'm gonna be joining in later. What makes this awesome are the bananas, which are brulee to order and are crispy and beautiful and everything you want in a Sunday that's meant for a birthday party. Let's get that scoop of nonsense in oh, as it's going everywhere. And cheers. This is what childhood dreams are made of right here with the crispiness of the banana and the softness of the ice cream and all the caramel you could possibly ask for. And if you need more texture, you got the pecans right there. So since these all have the same base ice cream and same, well, same base ice cream brand, we're gonna talk a little bit about the overall effect of what's going on rather than going too detailed into the ice cream itself because the ice cream is very smooth and creamy, it's lovely. But what really matters here, I feel like above everything else, is the feeling of nostalgia you get when you get these sundaes. You're not gonna feel whatever age you are when you walk through the door, unless you're already 10. Then you're gonna feel 10 years old and hoping that you have a birthday hat on because that's what these sundaes are. They are joyous. They are really clean flavors. They've got a little bit of an adult edge, especially with the caramel sauce and having the salt on the blondies, but these are really meant for a kid at heart palate. And that's what makes them super fun. My favorite is still the Norma Jean or the S'mores. Don't ask me to choose, I'm not going to. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Which one have you tried? Or have you tried any of them? I need to know what you're thinking. And always, I will catch you next time. Later peeps. The true heroes of the day. <laughs>